Welcome back to my Transformers Animated Episode Reviews. Today, we're taking a look at the episode Garbage In, Garbage Out. In this episode, an Allspark fragment brings a pile of garbage to life in the form of Rekgar. In this episode, the city of Detroit is covered in trash, as City Hall and Sumdac Systems are in the middle of a contract dispute. No doubt due to the greedy Porter C. Powell trying to weasel out more money from the city. Which is exactly what he's doing as we cut the Sumdac systems, where some of his scientists claim that they have worked out the kinks in Professor Sumdac's nanobots, which led to the monster cockroach that we saw in the series opener. Somehow, I think they still might have some bugs to work out. Meanwhile, the Autobots are helping clear the city of garbage, as we see Optimus Prime with one of his many trailers, this one essentially turning him into a garbage truck. Hmm. I bet you never thought you'd see Optimus Prime as a garbage truck, huh? So this is still a good opportunity to man some strained human Autobot relations. Yeah, who knows? Once the humans start trusting us again, they may even start liking us again, too. Hey, that's my car! Hey, put it down, now! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You... You! You're gonna pay for that! Okay, maybe liking us is too much to ask with Ratchet around. The city will cover the damages to your vehicle, sir. Now I suggest you go about your business. Hmm. Huh. I guess this answers a question that I previously had about the Transformers. It seems that the city pays for the damage that the Autobots cause. Sorry if I scratch your vehicle, sir. I understand something called insurance will take care of that. So Optimus assigns Bumblebee and Sari with the task of improving Ratchet's grumpy attitude. But just as they roll out, some of the trash in the garbage scow comes to life in the form of Rekgar. TV! We talk TV! You talk some TV? I am uh, high fructose corn syrup, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, artificial flavors. Now that doesn't sound right. There must be something in here that can tell me what I am. Eh, not my size. Here, Rekgar isn't played by Monty Python's veteran Eric Idle, like he was in the G1 movie, who the show's creators did try to get, but since he was busy, instead they went with the artist of the song that plays in the background of the fight with the Junkions in the movie, Weird Al Yankovic, who I think does a fantastic job. And I'd even say that I much prefer his version of Rekgar over the original. Unfortunately, the Decepticons detect Rekgar's Allspark energy signature, and Megatron sends Lugnut to go and retrieve it. Stasis lock itself could not deter me from your grand and glorious plan, O oh, wise and noble Megatron. Just go. Yes, my liege. As Rekgar strolls through the streets, he comes across the angry archer, who ropes the young naive bod into his employ, and gives him his name. They call me Angry Archer. They call me Worthless wreck walking Pile of Garbage. Oh really? Bit of a mouthful. Perhaps we should just call you Wreck Gar. As Ratchet, Bumblebee, and Sari are driving through the city, they are stopped by Spike Wickwicky, played by the very same voice actor who played him back in G1, Corey Burton. Somebody help me! <laughs> My wife is about to have a baby and our car broke down. We need to get to a hospital right away. Aww, Spike and Carly are having another baby. And in a later episode, we learn that they ended up having a little girl. Aww, so cute. Now Daniel has a little sister, who is never actually named in the show. Apparently, in the DVD audio commentary, they name her Jennifer. But in the Allspark Almanac, she is referred to as Nancy. Personally, I prefer Jennifer just because it reminds me of Jennifer from Back to the Future. But Nancy does seem to be the more accepted name. But anyways, back to this episode. I like how Rekgar has this sort of magic backpack gag where he can basically pull anything out of it, including, as we'll see in a minute, himself. Because as Ratchet is trying to figure out what a hospital is, they come across Rekgar, who begins tossing trash at the Autobots which includes his G1 toy. Being essentially a newborn Transformer, Rekgar takes everything he hears literally, and it's kind of adorable. You're only good for one thing. Garbage! I am 
I'm Rickgar. I am only good for one thing. Garbage! The Autobots follow the trail of trash to Rekgar, where they come across him and Lugnut. Ah, the universal greeting. Bah, weep, grana, weep, knee bong. Aw, I love this show. Even if it doesn't really make sense that Rekgar would know the universal greeting, since he doesn't even know who or what he is. It's just a fun meta joke for the fans. Weep grana, weep ninny bong. Ba weep grana, weep ninny bong. Ba weep grana, weep ninny bong. So the Allspark confused microbots eat away at Lugnut's tail, which Rekgar disconnects, and they both fall into a garbage scow, which, if it reaches the shore, the microbots will eat the entire city. You glitchhead! You're gonna destroy the whole city! You wouldn't dare do something that stupid! I am Rekgar! I dare to be stupid! Again, I love this show, as this is also a reference to the 86 movie, as this is the very same Weird Al song that plays during the Autobots battle with the Junkie Ons. So Ratchet does the hardest thing he's ever had to do, be nice. Don't let others tell you what you are. You can be any bot you want to be. You mean, I can be a hero? Yes. And Rekgar vacuums up the microbots. But sadly, it seems that Rekgar has been destroyed. And thanks to some motivation from Ratchet, the city and Powell resolved their garbage dispute. And as we end this episode, thankfully, it looks like Rekgar was not destroyed after all, but is actually stuck at the bottom of the river who we will see again in a future episode. Although how he manages to free himself, who knows. This was a great episode of Transformers Animated. I love this version of Rekgar. He's so funny and innocent. He's almost like a Transformers baby, the way he just takes everything at face value. He just wants to figure out who and what he is. And I think this episode is a great little journey for him to discover that out for himself. What about you? What did you think of this episode of Transformers Animated? As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all that other fun stuff. What do you know? They like me. They really like me. And I'll see you back here next week for the next episode of Transformers Animated Velocity. See you then.